prefer to be a ninja boy. I think I need to tighten up my suspension a little bit more because of how much I weigh. I still get a little bit of bouncy bouncy because I've got on like the ninth out of 10 hard settings based on what's on the Facebook group. Welcome to Florida. 
Florida people. This is your traffic. This is all wetlands through here. Which is why they made this particular portion of I-95 concrete. It kind of floats over the area instead of uh, being like set into it like the asphalt areas are. That's why everybody's going slow. Oh man, imagine just riding with the Black Widow header. Oh yeah. He's so loud. <laughs> oh, is that the top guy here? Nope. <laughs> Pearl Jr. I do see what some people say. I, I don't think it's the road. Well, there are some bumps I feel. It was feeling a little bucky, but I couldn't tell if that was the road or if that was the engine of the bike making that. Ba -ba 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 -ba. All right, here we are. Got the bike out. Talked to buddy's mom for a little bit, helped her out, do a couple things. Uh, but now here we are ready to ride the ZX-14R made by Kawasaki definitely the biggest bike both in size and in liters that I have ever driven so this will be fun and I can't squeeze through there with my backpack on so I will go on the front here and Tag is not registered. Cool. Cool. So, this is off the bat. I don't know why I'm using the clutch. Um, reversing it, it's nice. Be able to get both my feet almost fully down. <laughs> Still can't do that. Okay. Take off nice and easy here. Okay, so this is uh, the throttle is cable driven versus mine, which is the electronic, fly by wire, whatever you want to call it. They've been a lot of different terms over the years. I forgot to put those out. Those are really nice. Wow, this is such a different riding position than my CB. We're in that raging bull position. Handlebars feel way different. They're low slung, sweeping backwards, or minor. Feel more like a BMX bike. The CBs feels more like a BMX bike. But doing counter steer pushes, this is seems to be way easier to navigate need to go get the uh the tires checked make sure they're holding air where are we at on fuel it's hard to see fuel i cannot tell how much fuel is in here I... okay his his levers are a bit further back we've got of course you know mine are adjusted for me might see about that but this is this seating position is way different, I'll tell you that much. Way different, way more hunched over. And this is nothing surprising. I am just commenting about the fact that it is. Where do they 
do air? Do they have an air pump? Where do they do air? Air. Do they do air? Oh yeah, right in front of the cop. Tag is not registered. No air. They don't do air here. We're gonna put some gas in it. I don't need to fill it up. Probably close to being full, but maybe half, I don't know. Don't wanna leave it sitting with gas. different than my CB. I'm so used to ha uh, having the quick shift on the CB. <laughs> that first shift there, <laughs> I did it without, so I had to rub my nose, I did it without <laughs> the clutch. And it went in, it, it, it shifted, don't get me wrong, but I was like, oh, whoops. Tiger Mire no longer exists. this thing without earplugs. My ears are ringing with earplugs. Noises this thing makes is insane. It's definitely not an uncomfortable ride. Uh, it is very smooth. It is very smooth rolling down the road. It feels great. It feels great. Sitting position though, gotta get used to. I feel the heat coming from the exhaust. This is a big bike. Riding this bike is so weird. It's so different. I feel like a brand new rider riding this thing. I can see why uh, a lot of sport bikes have the belly pad here on the tank. this thing differently. Holy shit. Oh man, it's not free. I don't even know if this thing will hold it. Just gonna hang out here for a minute and uh, we'll get the air and the tires checked. So there it is in the hole. Let it cool down currently. While I'm waiting to check the air and the tires. 
Hopefully this guy doesn't take too long, but it is starting to sprinkle right now. So that's that sucks. And it looks like it is the only rain crowd in the area. So that's awesome. Bruh. This is such a pain in the ass. It's hot, bros. The clutch is a lot heavier than mine. Taking a little bit to get used to. up on 95 with the CB like you don't even notice it on this thing good gravy what a difference mm, that sucked <laughs> there does seem to be a little dead spot right here that I don't like too much my CB's doesn't have a depth spot per se but it's got that fly-by wire lag it's like I'm driving a bike for the first time again definitely gotta use the clutch with this one beautiful sound at that like exact spot right there a 25 mile per hour 30 such a nice ride when you're taking it easy. Such a great view. Cool view. Flashing over the onto here because it's so high. Right there, you can see it right there. It's flashing right up and over.
that's nice. Well, I just realized I did not bring the batteries for the camera to be able to take some good video. And then like not even a minute after parking here, this guy showed up, which I'm sure he's fine. But uh, I don't have any batteries. It's kind of useless. Did I lose my sunglasses? I think I did. No, I have one. See if he can hear me, because last time I, I used the Senna, my buddy, my other buddy could not hear me. Brosive. You there? Hey, you can hear me? Hello? Hello? Damn it, I do have something wrong with my, my mic. Nice. Ninja boy. I mean, what else is there to say about this bike? I mean, there's been hundreds of people who put out car, uh, bike reviews uh, on this particular bike and have gone over all the fine details to the core de course details. So, I, I don't really have anything to say beyond my just personal uh, tactile experiences you know things where I've been able to taste it touch it feel it with this bike and it's 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 great it's a lot of bike it's a lot of bike wish I brought my um, freaking camera batteries man I can't believe I did that two brother pipes on it absolutely insane really like how buddy Brian's ZX14 sounds like I think he said he got the Brock single-sided system and that sounds really good too don't get me wrong I've never ridden it so I don't know what it sounds like from uh, from the rider's perspective but being a passenger sounds good that little kid was staring. 
This thing sounds incredible just below 5,000 RPMs, between 4 and 5. Sounds incredible. I think you can hear it ready to just rip off. Just rah! God damn, that sounds insane. not just not being used to this particular seating position but overall it was fine I liked it add another bike to the list of ones that I've driven